Hey gang, Michelle McPherson here for the 30 day challenge. Once again, thanks so much for joining us today. We're looking at how one builds authority to your site by getting links from other authority sites. And the site that we're going to look at getting a link from in this video is hub pages. Hub pages has been around for a while. They do carry a lot of authority and they're absolutely worth getting a link from to get that link. You're going to need an article and that article should be at least 300 words. It needs to use your main theme keyword phrase in the article and that main theme keyword phrase should link from the hub pages that we're going to put it up on onto your site. So get your article prepared and then come with me over to hub pages and I'll show you exactly how it's done. This is the hub pages homepage and it's at hubpages.com. And when you get there, I want you to click on the sign up now link so that you can create a user account and fill out your account with your username, email, password, and then of course the captcha for a username. They do allow spaces. So if possible, if it isn't already taken, it's not a bad idea to have your username be your main keyword phrase. Now my main theme keyword phrase is make your own soap and that is too long to be a username on hub pages. So instead what I've done is used one of my category keyword phrases to create my username. And once you've filled this out and read to and agreed hub pages uh, terms of use, then go ahead and click the create my account button. Now hub pages asks you to tell them a little bit about your interest and there is a skip this step button and you can skip the step, but I prefer to fill it in so that we can create a profile on hub pages that is relevant to our niche. So in here you want to put in some, um, interests or hobbies or, um, activities that you enjoy that are somehow related to your niche so that that niche page that you create on hub pages and that profile that you create is all cohesive and points to someone who is interested in and publishing good information on your particular topic. So I've put in that I'm interested in crafts, soap making, natural living, and I'll actually also put in my main keyword phrase make your own soap and I want you to do the same as well. And when you're done with that, go ahead and click submit. Now it'll tell you that you may be interested in some of the topics below and you don't have to click any of these, of course, but I'll go ahead and click one. Sure. Crafts and handiwork soap making, and that'll put me in that related, um, target market for hub pages. And again, it's going to create a profile for me that is more complete and is more thorough as far as my being a real person who's actually creating genuine rich content in my area of expertise. So you can go ahead and select an area of interest that is relevant to your own niche and that you would potentially be interested in also. Next, you can fill in this information. If you want to connect with friends who uh, you may have in Gmail or wherever else, but we're going to skip that step. We don't need to connect with friends on hub pages. Now we get the opportunity to actually create our hub. So let's go ahead and do that. Click the big create a hub button and you'll be brought to the page where you can give your hub a title, its web address and categories, and then choose the kind of layout that you want. So here we want to focus on our main theme keyword phrase, because that is what we are promoting with this particular hub page. So our title is going to be our main theme keyword phrase. And our unique web address is also going to be our main theme keyword phrase. And as you can see, I have an error message that the web address, the make your own soap, which is my main theme keyword phrase has already been taken. So please try another one. Now I really, really, really want your main theme keyword phrase to be in your URL here. So it's important that if you get this message that you make some adjustments to this unique web address line so that you can include your main theme keyword phrase in it. So one of the things that I would suggest is adding a suffix at the end. Uh, my domain name is make your own soap now.com because plain old make your own soap just wasn't available. So I'm going to try now and see if that's available and you can put on some kind of suffix at the end, maybe now, maybe blog, maybe site, maybe information. If your main theme keyword phrase is taken because it is important that you include your main theme keyword phrase in the web URL of this particular site. Then we get to choose a topic and we're going to do arts and crafts since this is a craft and then you can choose a subtopic and uh, soap making isn't one and this is optional. So I'm going to leave it. You of course will just select the category that is most appropriate 
for your particular keyword phrase. We're going to choose a starting layout. We're going to leave it at the default here, that's fine. And then we need to add at least two tags. So we're going to add our main theme keyword phrase and then a secondary keyword phrase that uh, may be one of your category keyword phrases that's a good one that gets lots of traffic. So we'll go with natural soap making. That's one of mine. So you go ahead and put in your category or secondary keyword phrases in there as well. And then go ahead and click continue. Now, hub pages can be a little bit picky sometimes about the information and the kind of content that they'll allow on your site. So it's a good idea with your article and with the, the hub that you create here on hub pages that uh, you don't try to be super, super salesy. They don't want any spam. They don't want any adult stuff, no gambling, no unfinished hub, so we do need to finish it, but I'll walk you through that. No deception, so your title and tags need to match the content of your site. Uh, everything must be in English, and they do not allow duplicate or copied content, so you do have to have a 100% original article. The biggest thing that we uh, are looking for here is no promotional offers or hubs designed only to promote another site or business, and that's pretty subjective. Uh, but you're providing a complete hub with lots of good information for the hub pages visitors will help you with that. So rather than just being someone who's saying, uh, you know, go to my site here, actually, you know, take some time and give them some good information. So now we enter in our captcha and click continue. Now you're at the point where you can actually put your hub together. And Hub Pages really, really, really likes it when you have a picture. So the first thing that we want to do is add a photo. So I'm going to click edit down here on the photo box. And this is just different modules. They call them capsules here. And this is a photo capsule that will appear at the very top of our hub. So let's click edit and we're going to be able to upload a, a photo from our computer. Now, one of the places where I like to get pictures is here. This is sxc.hu, which is a, a weird domain name, but sxc.hu. And these photos here are free and they're also royalty free. So you're allowed to use them on your website. And for me, I just entered in soap and was able to find a bunch of related pictures. And you can do the same in your own niche. I downloaded them to my hard drive and now I can upload them to my hub. So we wanna give it a subtitle. And if possible, we're trying to increase the on-page relevance of this hub for our main theme keyword. So we want to use our main theme keyword if possible, but we don't want to make it spammy. Now mine is make your own soap, which is kind of a weird thing to subtitle a picture with. So instead I'm going to change it a little bit to try to make it make more sense to a reader who visits this page. So um, you can make your own soap and get results like this. So I've used my main theme keyword, which is make your own soap, and yet it's also readable to the people who visit this page. And I want you to do the same, to incorporate your main theme keyword, and yet also um, have it be readable for any users. Then you want to add your photo, and you can either add it from your uh, a web address or my computer. I've saved it to my computer, so I'm going to do that and we'll browse the computer and they're in the soap pics on my desktop and then load images and it's going to upload this image to hub pages to include it in my hub and once that image is uploaded as mine was you go ahead and click the save button and now our photo is here and it's got our caption on it that we called it now the text is where our actual article goes so we need to go ahead and click edit on that capsule Again, we're going to give it a subtitle, so that will be our main theme keyword phrase. And then we're going to paste in our actual uh, article into the article body area. So I have my article over here in uh, Google Docs, and I'm going to copy it and bring it over here to Hub Pages and paste it in. Now, sometimes when we paste links from one place to another or uh, articles from one place to another like this, we've got some extra paragraph breaks in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and correct that. The other thing that we need to look out for is sometimes if you've created links in the other document and you copy it over somewhere else, those links may not work anymore, but it looks like ours went through OK here. And then we're going to title this with our main theme keyword. So we'll paste 
that title and then delete it from the article body. And there's our lovely article. And then we go ahead and click save there. And now on our hub pages, we have our article and it has our links in it to our website. The comments module uh, is something that's nice to include so that people who visit your hub can leave comments on it. And if you click the edit on the comments capsule, then you can set some settings up here so we can have most recent displayed first. And I'll go ahead and pick that and you can choose to be emailed whenever there's a new comment or not. Uh, I'm going to disable that and then we want to give it a subtitle. So we're going to encourage people to comment on our hub. So uh, let's use our main keyword phrase in our subtitle and also ask people a question to encourage them to comment. So I've said, do you like to make your own soap? There I've used my main theme keyword phrase and then I said, share your experience here. And that encourages people to go ahead and leave comments on this capsule uh, on our hub, which is a good thing because then we've got other people adding content to our page for us and it makes it even more unique and updated in the eyes of the search engines. So that's the basic body of a hub. Now hub pages, like I said, they can be a little bit picky sometimes. They really like to see hubs that are built out and rich with lots of information for their readers. So I am going to add some more elements to this hub and I'd like you to do the same. Now remember I said before that hub pages really appreciates multimedia content in particular, they like pictures. So I'm going to add some more pictures that I have uh, that I got from sxc.hu and I'm going to upload them to hub pages to create a lens that has a little bit more attractive visual element than you might find elsewhere. So I'm just browsing my computer, finding those pictures that I have, and then I'm going to click load images and this will create a nice set of images for my hub to give it again, a more filled out look. Once the rest of your images are uploaded, I want you to change the width because they look kind of ugly uh, at full width if they aren't huge pictures. And then you can also in your caption, uh, caption the images with a descriptive sentence or two about the picture and also include your main theme keyword or your category keywords in that description. And then click save to save these images to your hub. I'm also going to add a links capsule and that will allow me to place a link to my site one more time on this particular hub. We'll click edit and then we can title the links capsule. So I'm going to call it make your own soap resources and give my own web page. And you of course will change it to be the subtitle should include your main theme keyword and the URL should include your own URL to your website. And we can give it a short description which I've done and then you can click save and that capsule will be added to your hub. The last one that I want to add is a poll and a poll allows you to ask your readers a question. And so I'm going to click edit on my poll and we're going to give it a subtitle. So I've said, which method do you prefer to make your own soap? So I've incorporated my name, my main theme keyword into my subtitle. And then I gave my hub readers a question saying, which soap making method is your favorite for making your own homemade soap? And then I gave them the options that they can choose, which are the different methods of making soap. And you can come up with a little poll for your own readers in your own niche and then click save. Hub pages likes to see more than two tags. So we're going to include a couple of additional tags here. Those tags can be gotten from your category keywords that you have on your blog. So there I've added my additional category key phrases. Now these other capsules that are available, you can absolutely play around with those and add them to your hub and then rearrange them. Again, I like to keep the text on top though, and I like to keep a link on the bottom and then what goes on in the middle is completely up to you and you can go ahead and play around with those capsules that are available. When you're done rearranging your modules and adding any capsules that you want, you go ahead and click publish now and hub pages will make this hub actually go live and it'll give you a status message. There it is. Here's what it looks like. And it's got some ads on it because they put ads in for you. Everything looks good. Now we need to copy the URL of this hub and put it into our rank tracker and also put it into traffic bug. And you'll notice that this page also has 
a subscribe to my RSS feed. If you copy that as well and put that into the RSS feed uh, in Traffic Bug, then it'll promote this RSS feed for you as well. So go ahead and do that. Once you've added your URL to Rank Tracker and you've added your URL and RSS feed to Traffic Bug, you're done for the day. Go to the 30daychallenge.com for more videos. This is Michelle McPherson. Thank you so much.